Hey guys, Thrift Store Hacker back again, and uh, I got this uh, delicious piece of e-waste here from uh, a family member, and uh, it's one of those Belkin, it's uh, one of the better upgraded one, it's uh, like a 840-860 watt uh, power backup, so if your power goes out it keeps your computer running long enough that either the power will come back on or the... Uh, computer can shut itself down and put itself, you know, completely down and asleep instead of losing all your data. So, I've noticed with these, um, you can make a pretty good uh, cheap power inverter for 12 volt or 24 volt systems. And we're going to take this one apart a bit. Um, as you can see, I've already had the top off of it. Um, first thing we would do to uh, pull this apart is over here, I don't know if the lighting's good enough, but right here in the corner there's a clip. You push down on that clip and this piece will pop off. Inside there, I've already removed them, but you would come across two, you know, seal lead acid batteries like that. Um, they're usually seven amp hour. Um, the smaller units, uh, the 300 or 400 watt units only have one battery and it runs in a 12 volt configuration. This one runs two batteries on a 24 volt configuration, and uh, that gives me an excellent opportunity that I could use this for something like the electric trike project or something like that, where I could actually have like an 800 watt power inverter on board of the bike. And next thing you're going to look at is uh, this. You take the two bolts out of this, it'll pop, it'll come loose and sit down like that, and you're going to see some circuitry in there. And then we have five bolts, well, five screws, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. Let me turn my light on really quick so we can kind of see what the hell we're doing here. It's like, I can see okay, but uh, you guys probably not so much. But hey, you know, there we go. And you notice there's a sticker right here. We had a pull sticker. And then this whole thing, when you go to take it apart, you kind of push it. Uh, oh, then you go to the back of it here. And there's going to be six screws you need to take out, which holds this panel. Or four screws you need to take out that holds this panel in. Now let's take this beast off here. Get that out of the way. You can see we have a huge battery box here, power transformer for uh, AC power going to DC. Um, you also have a loop that will uh, power the board here and give the plugs power while it's plugged in, and then it switches over when you're on battery power. Now we have this kind of pulled apart like this. Uh, if you get one of these and it's not quite working right, uh, one of the first things you can check is behind the power leads here, there are two 40 amp fuses hiding down there. You see those? Now they are soldered into the board, but you can unsolder them. Or uh, the cool thing about these fuses is there's little metal pieces right at the top, which are the posts. So you could even put a dab of solder on each of those with a wire and just run up another uh, fuse if you uh, are feeling exceptionally lazy and don't want to pull the whole thing apart. Now, what I'm trying to do here is uh, we're trying to build a, basically like a battery backup, but let's make one just absolutely on steroids. You know, make a huge battery, amp hour battery capacity. Um, whenever the, you know, the weather gets bad or something like that, we will be able to, uh, hook up our, uh, backup power here. And since this is a 800 watt unit, um, I have an air conditioner that runs 500 watts. Well, supposedly runs 500 watts. The startup wattage is probably a lot more hellacious, but, uh, we're going to try to power that little air conditioner with this right here. And if we could do that. We're going to save ourselves a crap load in air conditioning bill because that is about the biggest bill that we have here at the house. Because we like to keep it, you know, not a thousand degrees in our home because, you know, we run computers and, you know, like, you know, 
enjoying our home. So we're going to see if we can uh, rig this up and get a little money off of our air conditioning bill. We're back in the machine here again. And uh, these uh, universal or you know, uninterrupted uh, power backups have uh, <clears throat> a little speaker in them. And you'll notice that when your power goes out or something, you'll hear that beep about every 20 seconds. It's rather annoying. Um, since we're going to be using this in its like reserve power mode all the time, and I don't feel like hooking up the software to reprogram the thing or anything, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a uh, pair of vice grips, or I have a pair of channel locks here, get around that speaker, pull it off. And then we don't have the speaker anymore. We're not making noise anymore. So it should be a uh, fairly decent inverter. I get this all back together and we'll go plug in the air conditioner. So I took the power inverter uh, slash power backup and uh, with our modifications and I've plugged it into two lawn tractor batteries. And uh, these have a pretty good amperage on them. Uh, I got them on my little charger right now to charge them up. And uh, as you can see, we're hooked up here and here. Now let's go down to the unit here. And you're looking at the unit. In the back, we have the air conditioner plugged in. And we have a little air conditioner here, which is about a 500 watt air conditioner. But first things first, you notice the supply isn't plugged in for this. So we'll just kick this on. And you hold the button down for a second. That middle light will come on. And give it a few minutes to, uh, or a few seconds for it to uh, ramp up the power. And then we'll turn our air conditioner on. I usually turn it on on low speed just so it doesn't have a hard startup wattage. And there we go. We have cold air for free. For free. So, next video, I think we will uh, move a little more forward on this. We'll move, uh, move a little more forward on this and uh, put it all into uh, some type of box design. Maybe something with wheels on it and make a full portable 12 volt or 20 core volt air conditioner in it. Uh, one of the things I'm going to have to do, uh, I just use some cheap wire to hack this together to show you guys on YouTube here. Uh, it gets really hot down here on the ends because it's a really thin gauge wire. And we shut our inverter off. But there you have it. That's a, how you hack a uh, one of those old uh, uninterrupted power supplies and you can turn it into a pretty uh, handy inverter. An 800 watt inverter yeah, that's, that's about $100 right there that you can save just by grabbing one of these out of the trash or finding one at the office with dead batteries in it. You know, somebody's bound to have one of these that they don't want. So uh, why not make a second use out of it? And you've also noticed, uh, since I pulled that speaker, I'll turn it back on, you don't get that beep every, like, 15 or so seconds that will drive you slowly into madness. Well, there you go, and we will revisit this, uh, you know, a few videos down the road. We'll come back to this and uh, have a uh, better setup, but this is the working theory right here.